What's up guys? How you guys doing? I hope you guys had a lovely and a great Thanksgiving because I know I did, honey. I ate a bunch of turkey. <laughs> but this is the look that I just filmed for you. Um, it was requested by Shale Javinci Gavinci. Um, sorry, hun, if I'm not pronouncing your name right, but um, I really, really wanted to thank you for this for requesting this look because I really enjoyed doing it. And it's a very, very pretty, like, everyday look. It really, really is. I hope you guys really like this. It's not too dramatic. Um, it has the really pretty nude lip. And it has the little pop of color underneath. But it's a dark pop of color. It's not too, too bright. Um, and yes, and this is from the Mary J um, Christmas album for you all who don't know. I just redid her look, uh, recreated it for her. Um, the young lady who requested it. So if you guys want to see how I got this look. Then you know what you got to do. This is the base that I applied already. Which is NYX eyeshadow base in skin tone. And now I'm going to apply tape. To give me that precision that I want. On the corners of my eye. Okay now the first thing I'm going to do is I'm going to be using this Beauty's Factory palette. This is how the palette look and it's a neutral eyeshadow palette. These are the colors from the palette. I'm going to be starting off taking this light brown color right here from the palette and I'm going to be putting that color in my crease area. Actually above a little bit above my crease area just using that as a transition color and the way Mary J eyeshadow is it's actually going up kind of like at an angle so I'm going to try to keep it at an angle and not bring it down so it's kind of up more like that and now I'm gonna actually take a darker brown color and I guess I'm gonna be using this color right here and I'm gonna kind of like define the crease just a bit more because her crease is more defined should be well blended and it looks like she has matte a matte highlight underneath her bra bone area so I'm gonna kind of keep it really matte as possible and it looks like it's closer to her skin tone so I'm gonna be taking I guess I'm gonna take this color right here and put that right underneath my bra bone area And as I put it underneath my brow bone area, I'm going to make sure that I blend that color downwards into that first transition color that I applied. Okay, I went on ahead and went back into the palette and got some more of that dark brown and defined the crease a little bit more using a blending brush. And I'm going to go ahead and put some of that dark brown on my outer V area also. And now I'm going to take this black right here from the palette and define my outer V area just a little bit more. I'm just smoking it out in the corners. Using circular motions to blend it in well. And now the next thing I'm going to do is take some more of that eyeshadow base that I used air earlier, which looks like this, and I'm going to apply that to my lid area. And we 
we also use this to define that crease a little bit more also to clean up because she has a sharp crease right there and now I'm going to go into the palette once more and I'm going to be taking a new color let me see which color I want to use it's really really nudish um, kind of kind of like this color so I'm going to take that color and pack that color on my lid space okay that's how the eyes look once I pack the color on now I'm going to go back into the crease some more and clean up just a little bit just to blend those colors together now I'm going to be taking Milani's pencil in black and I'm going to go ahead and just line my top lash line and tight line by the looks of her eyeshadow she don't have anything winged out so I'm not gonna wing it out I'm just gonna take this brush and just smudge that liner into my top lash line and I'm just pulling that liner up to the outer V area. And I'm going to be taking lashes number 103 and applying those and mascara. Okay guys, my lashes are on. Now I'm going to move on to the rest of my face and for the bottom of my eyes, I'm going to be taking this Milani pencil in black and teal. And it's actually black with a kind of green tealish undertone as you can see. The bottom of her eye looks like it's you know a little dark teal color so I'm just gonna apply this to my waterline and underneath my lash line so I'm gonna just use a color from this palette to smoke it out and I'm gonna be taking this color right here to smoke out that green Now I'm just going to apply mascara and I'm using Max Zoom Fast Last Mascara. Now I'm going to be taking NYC's Liquid Liner and I'm just going to conceal that lash band. Now I'm just priming my face with my Fix imperfect primer which is from rainbow london and i'm going to prime my face and then apply my foundation and highlight and everything but i'm going to go ahead and do that off camera and for the lips i'm going to be taking sable lip pencil and lining my lips with that okay that's sable and I filled in the corners of my lips also because this is going to be a nude um, ombre lip. So the color that I'm using is 900B from Wet n Wow, and this is how it looks. And I'm going to apply that to my lips. Like so. So that's the lip. I'm just gonna go over with a little bit of gloss and this is caramel cappuccino from the Ruby Kisses lip gloss line and I'm just gonna take just a little bit I'm 
like so. Okay guys, this is the finished look. I'm gonna go ahead and set everything on my Fix Plus. And this is it. I hope you guys enjoyed this video. Um, thank you, girly, for requesting it for me. Shayo Javinci or Gavinci. I say that every time. If I'm not pronouncing your name right, I apologize. But I really, really um, want to thank you for requesting this look because I really actually like this look. This is not too dramatic it's something like every day and you can always substitute the matte that i put right there and put a shimmery color you know nude um but i just wanted to keep it as close to the picture as possible for you so i hope you really like the look and i'll see you guys in my next video bye